What's up guys and gals, I'm the Gaming Duelist and today we're going to be opening up this Pokemon TCG Shining Legends Elite Trainer Box. Uh, let me tell you folks, I am excited. Labor Day weekend is here. I want to wish you all a happy Labor Day. And, in, in non-Pokemon related news, uh, Batman Arkham City should be starting. I was going to start it tonight, but then I decided... Uh, that uh, it's going to be starting next week. It will be a weekly series, so it'll be an episode every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Also, this channel, The Gaming Duelist, I'm thinking about mostly focusing on, well, gaming for this channel. So you'll see uh, video games, you'll see card games, maybe reviews of some classic board games, uh, I don't know. But the vlogs will be moving to a separate channel. And so will the cooking videos. Uh, I already have a separate channel for the cooking videos, so that's already all set. And But the vlogs will be moving to a separate channel. So enough uh, squawking from me. Let's get open in this. Uh, so for those of you that don't know what this is, it's a Pokemon product that lets you uh, get started with playing the TCG uh, physical game. You get all sorts of stuff uh, related to that. I'll show you what you get in just a moment. Alright, so we'll slide this out. And first of all, yeah, you got a uh, little mini uh, book here. Sorry, it's kind of dark here. Let me see if I can move it out of the way. There we go. And this tells you a lot about the Shining Legend set. It shows you some new cards, you also can learn about some cool combos, and on the back here is a checklist for the set. Just a basic checklist, it doesn't include any of the promo cards. But if you go here, it's where you'll find all the full arts and the secret rares and all the and, uh, cool stuff just like that. Alright, so there's some... Uh, Setups that you can do, some cool combos. They talk about uh, all sorts of different cards here. Now, if you pop open uh, this uh, at the top right here, this uh, little cardboard thing, you actually get a little mini poster with all of these Shining Legends uh, pack arts on it. It's pretty cool. Alright, now... You also get this cool looking uh, collector's box, so you can store everything that you have in here. And we get cardboard! Yay! Not. Nah. Get rid of those. Now, this is a special Elite Trainer box, which means you're gonna get some extra goodies. You get 10 booster packs of Shining Legends, and you also get a promo card, too. I'm just getting everything out and ready. Oh, and you get a cool code card. I believe uh, it helps you unlock the sleeves that you get here. I think it also helps you unlock the promo card, too. And here are these sleeves. Pretty cool. You also get a pack of energy. I'm pulling them upside down. There we go. You also get this. These are your uh, markers to use in the game. The And this one will help you uh, figure out what the condition that your Pokemon is in. If your Pokemon is poisoned, then you need to use the green the skull marker. And right behind it is a red burn marker with a band-aid image. Uh, that'll be used if your Pokemon gets burned. Now the GX counter right behind here is a special counter because uh, of the new GX cards. Uh, the GX Pokemon, if you have one in play, have a very special attack, but you can only use it once, and uh, you can only use one GX attack per game. So, if you have a GX out there and you use this attack, then you have, then uh, that GX gets knocked out, or has to retreat for another GX, that other GX Pokemon cannot use its attack. 
It's GX attack. So hopefully uh, that was pretty clear, uh, pretty uh, self-explanatory. Alright, so you also get a pack of dice with the uh, symbol of the low, of the symbol of the set being used to represent the number one. The big die is a coin toss die. That is used to determine which player goes first. And the smaller dice are damage counter dice to help keep track of the damage that your Pokemon has received during the game. You can also use these outside of Pokemon too, like if you need some new dice for a board game, or maybe you play Yahtzee if you want to play it that way, or even use them for your Yu-Gi-Oh deck too. If you have any cards in your Yu-Gi-Oh deck that require a dice roll. Alright, you also get some deck dividers too. You can use these to help divide out your cards. Uh, maybe you want to put like ultras in one area and the uh, commons in another. There's the other side. I thought you guys got a promo card with a ho -Oh. well, Maybe I was wrong though on that one. It might have been uh, stored in the packs. Alright, so. Yeah, divide up the packs real quick. Oh, yep, here's the uh, promo card. Right here. There's a Shining ho -Oh. Only in uh, Shining Legends, uh, the Elite Trainer Boxes for Shining Legends, can you get a promo Shining ho -Oh. So you're guaranteed a Shining Pokemon for each Elite Trainer Box that you get. And yes, it is always the Shining ho -Oh that you get. So you're going to get ten, 10 packs all together. And normally, with normally trainer boxes, you get eight, but and this one's a special one, so you get ten. All right, so what? Let me see. How am I gonna do this here? So we have Mewtwo, Genesect, and a Rayquaza, and a Mew. Those are all for your pack cards, and the Mew is kind of dark. There's another Mew, Genesect, Rayquaza, Mewtwo, and the Mew and Mewtwo are the last two. I gotta say my favorites uh, pack arts from this set are the Mew and Mewtwo because those are two of my all-time favorite Pokemon. I gotta adjust myself here, folks. Alright, so, let's get started. First off, we have a Shining Legends, and by the way, this uh, set, each pack, has a white code card in it. You are guaranteed a hollow or better in each and every Shining Legends pack. And, so, and this is a special set, so you can only find uh, these uh, type of sets in special ways, just like Gilly Trainer Boxes, and also... There's some other special boxes too, like uh, Zoroark and Raichu, Full Art uh, GX, uh, Full Art GXs. You can find them there, and all sorts of other cool ways. But they don't have their own uh, boxes or single packs. Uh, so here you go. There's the code. Let me know what you get in the comments. Uh, it is a, a Sun and Moon pack trick. So the call is a four and two. There is your energy card. Alright, so we start things off with an Ekans. I think I'll set them off screen once I, after I read them. Go let. Voltorb. Looking out, looking very angry at the sundown. It's like saying, Sun, you should not go down. It should still be daylight. Croconaw. And you will find cards uh, that are normally uncommon in the common slots here. Like Croconaw would normally be an uncommon in the regular set. But in this set, it is just a common. And a Scraggy. Oop, sorry about that. There's Sophocles. He does have a full art, but it's not in this set. It was in an earlier set. Browligator. 
Again, an uncommon that would normally be a rare. And a Carnivine. Our first reverse uh, card of the day is a Shroomish. I think that is just a common card, yep. Tell by the symbols, if you get like a circle, it's a common card, a diamond is an uncommon, and a star is a rare. And our hollow rare goes to a shiny Rayquaza! Now that's a way to start off an opening! That is pretty cool! And this cut type of card is pretty cool too because you get some texture on the Pokemon only. I'm not gonna touch the Pokemon, but... That is a pretty neato card. These are hard to find too. So, let me see if I can sleeve you on up real quick. I'm going to be using these sleeves. Uh, that is a cool Pokemon. And for me personally, I believe that just leaves uh, only one Pokemon shining that I've yet to, yet to collect. Uh, So there you go, all nice in its sleeve. So I'm going to take it off for now. Maybe I can bring it back a little bit. I'm going to bring it back a little bit. We're going to have a recap here too. Still pretty cool to start off with that type of Pokemon. Alright. Especially since uh, Rayquaza just became the mascot for the latest set, the Celestial Storm. At least the latest set as of this opening. So here's your next code. Right there, I'll place it. And one, two, three. Again, the fourth one is the energy card, so I'll get that out of the way. And a one and a two. So I'm gonna go through the these ones kinda quick. Scraggy Toracat. Again, would normally be an uncommon, but it's a common in the set. Plusle. Also just got uh, re-released again in Celestial Storm, so this card's been seeing, uh, this Pokemon's been seeing a lot of cards in a lot of different sets. Bleasel. Just chilling right by the water. And a Totodile. And a Totodile. Alright, we got Feraligator. So we go to base from basic to stage two. It's final of all of all form. Carnivine. There's the Lily. Also, uh, this is the the only Lily card in the set because she got a full art by the set, but she got a set earlier. And this is the old school artwork too. We have Super Scoop Up as our reverse, and our rare this time is a Hollow Reshiram. I think I'll take that off, and I'll put the Shining Rayquaza where the Genesect packs were. So now, let's go to the Shining Rayquaza packs. Alright, so here we go. There's the code. As you know, I like to give you guys the codes. And energy card, we'll get that up. One and two. I think it's just a rare this time. But again, though, I'm going to go through these kind of quick. A Toracat. Totodile. Weasel. Pikachu! I always love Pikachu, especially this artwork with the rainbow in the background. Then I got my Pikachu playmat out here. So I think I'll set you kind of off screen right there. And a Bulbasaur. Also looking pretty happy looking at the bubbles. I really like these uh, drawings of happy Pokemon. We have a Venusaur. So once again, we go from basic to stage two. Ultra Ball. And a Lipard. Reverse Holo this time. This is a Bulbasaur, another one. Pretty cool. And we have a regular rare Mar... 
That's a Marsh Shadow, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna set it off. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep uh, just the cooler cards right now. I mean, those cards are cool, but the higher rarity. Alright, let's see what else we got. So I'm pretty happy though, we got a Shining Pokemon. There we go. That's pretty cool, we got the Shining version of a card that was just uh, got another print for the uh, TCG and Celestial Storm. So there's the energy, set that off. And again, one and two, go for that. Go through it pretty quickly. Larvesta. Purloin. Minin. Stun Disk. And a Breloom. Lipart. Double colorless energy, always a useful card. And a Pokemon catcher. The reverse holo this time is a Zekrom. That is a holo rare in the set. And we got a Hoopa. Cool. So I think I'll set those guys off. Now we're down to our Mew and Mewtwo packs. Let me go with Mew. See what else we can pull. Alright, so again, I'm going to go through this pack rather quick. Two, three, four. Energy card, there we go. Get that out. One and two. Alright, Perline. Voltorb. There's a Golet. Weasel. Scraggy. Warp Energy. This card provides colorless energy, and when you attach this card from your hand to your active Pokemon, switch that Pokemon one of your bench Pokemon. So, good way to uh, help pump up that Pokemon for an attack and get it out of there if it's in danger of being knocked out. Arbok. Super Scoop Up. Reverse all this time is an Arbok. And we have a Hollow Palkia. Very cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Go around this way. And I think I'll give it to you like that. Well, so far, the only, uh, Rare, better. The only card that we pulled that was better than the uh, rare was a Shining Requaza. But hey, I'm not complaining. Energy, get that out. I think I'll put it right here. Alright, Turkle! Pikachu! I always love the Pikachu. So I'll set you right by your buddy there. We have a Jinx. Shroomish. And a Minin. There's a Floatzel. Uncommon. Again, I believe normally... I think the, some sets have these and uh, has a Floatzel, it's a rare, and others have as a common. Switch. And Warp Energy. Reverse Hollow this time. This is a Carnivine. And we have a Hollow Yvolto. Very cool. Last of the Mew Packs. Let's see what we can pull.
There we go. Two, three, and this one is the energy card right there. Alright, so once again, we're gonna go through this rather quick. Uh, Breloom, Voltorb, Witten, Perloin, and a Zorua. Zoark is also in this set. And Zoark also got a promo card, too. Arbok, Super Scoop Up, and Sophocles, Reverse Hollows of Jinx. And our regular rare is a Shaman. This one is the uh, Flying Shaman. Alright, me too. Let's see what you got. There we go. Two, three, four. Oh, I think we're gonna get something here. Might be just like a regular GX. Water energy. Yep, I know we got something here. Alright. Larvesta. Scraggy. Crocona. Jinx. And a plusle. We have energy retrieval. Voltal. And a switch. Reverse holo is a golet. And our regular GX card is a Mewtwo. That kinda that's kinda fitting, won't you say? We got a Mewtwo GX and a Mewtwo pack work. And a Mewtwo pack. Let me sleeve you on up real quick. There we go. Next pack. Here we go. See what else we can get. That kind of upside down. go. One, two, three, four. And this time, I think I'll just move the three up. Oh, you know, maybe not. Yeah, this, uh, I think we just got a rare here. So I'll just kind of fan it out just like that. And we have a hollow Raikou at the end. So right over there. Alright, last pack. Let's see what we can end with. Definitely a good opening, let me tell ya. And even though we only got like two ultra rares. Uh, I'm not complaining though, one of, one of them was a shining. Still some cool stuff. Alright, there we go. One, two, three, four. This one I'll just do uh, from the front to the back right here. See what else. Uh, we got another thing. Volk Volcarona Spiritomb I think this one's just a regular GX. Oh, I almost took two there. Pokemon Breeder. Also in full art in the set. There's a Crocona. Jinx. Pikachu! We got a third one. Ekans. And a Torcat. Reverse Holo is a Zorwa. And we got a Raichu GX. Pretty cool. We have all form of another one of my favorite Pokemon, of course. This guy. That was a pretty cool book. Yeah, I thought that was a fun opening. Alright, so let's uh, do a recap. 
we we pulled three Pikachus, uh, and here are all the hollows that we pulled. We have Raikou, Shaman, Yvalto, Palkia, Zekrom, Hoopa, Mars Shadow, and a Reshiram. And the Zekrom is actually a reverse. And we got a Raichu GX. A Mewtwo GX. And a Shining Rayquaza. Pretty sweet. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please make sure to leave a like if you did. And once again, the Gaming Duelist channel will be focused more around gaming in the future. We'll do board games. We'll do more pack openings like this one. We'll be doing video games too, like Batman Arkham City coming up next week. And... Uh, all the vlogs and the cooking stuff will be moved to their own separate channels. So definitely stay tuned to that and subscribe to those channels too. If you want to, of course. And also, yeah, the GX counter. Let me, uh, I'm trying... Let me see if I can explain the GX rule again. When you have a Pokemon, that's your active Pokemon, and it has the symbol GX, like here... This is a special Pokemon. You see this bottom move, Side Strike? This is Mewtwo's GX attack. If Mewtwo or any other of your active GX Pokemon use their GX attack, then you have to flip the counter, which is right behind the uh, burn and poison markers here, over to this side. That means that if you have used your GX attack, you can only use one Pokemon GX's GX attack and only one per game. So, if Mewtwo GX uses its Psy Strike GX attack, and then uh, if for some reason it gets knocked out, or if you have to uh, switch it with the Raichu GX, even though it says on the bottom Vol Voltail GX, Raichu cannot use that attack. Because you're only allowed one GX move. One GX attack. Per game. That is it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching again. Once again, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to leave a comment telling me what your favorite card was of today's opening. I'm the Gaming Duelist. And I'll catch you all next time. See you later.